generative AI falls within the realm of artificial intelligence, specializing in the creation or generation of fresh content, such as images, text, music, or videos, based on patterns and examples derived from existing data. The process involves training algorithms to comprehend and analyze extensive datasets, using that acquired knowledge to produce new, original content resembling the style or structure of the training data. Here's a general overview of how generative AI works using deep learning techniques. Step 1. Data Collection Step 2. Design a Neural Network Architecture Step 3. Training Step 4. Loss Function Step 5. Sampling Step 6. Evaluation The first step is to collect a large dataset that represents the type of data you want the generative AI to produce. For instance, if you wanted to generate text, you would need a large corpus of text data. Similarly, for image synthesis, you would need a dataset of images. The next step involves designing an appropriate neural network architecture. For generative tasks, two common architectures are used. Generative Adversarial Networks GANs, Variational Autoencoders VAS. During training, the model is fed with the real data, and it learns to generate similar data by adjusting its parameters. For GANs, the generator and discriminator are trained in tandem while VAS are trained using an optimization process that maximizes the likelihood of generating the original data from the latent space. The loss function plays a crucial role in the training process. In GANs, the generator's loss is typically the log likelihood of the discriminator making a mistake, while the discriminator's loss is the log likelihood of correctly distinguishing between real and generated data. In VAS, the loss is a combination of a reconstruction loss and a regularization term that ensures the latent space follows the desired distribution. Once the generative model is trained, it can be used to generate new data by sampling from the latent space in the case of VAS or providing random noise to the generator in the case of GANs. Evaluating the quality of generated data is essential to ensure the generative AI is effective and reliable. Evaluation metrics depend on the specific task, but common methods include human evaluation, likelihood-based metrics, and domain-specific metrics. There are several types of generative models, each with its unique characteristics and applications. Here are some of the most common types. 1. Generative Adversarial Networks GANs. 2. Variational Autoencoders VAS. 3. Autoregressive Models 4. Normalizing Flows 5. Boltzmann Machines 6. Flow-Based Models 7. Generative Moment Matching Networks GMMNs. GANs consist of two neural networks working in opposition to each other, a generator and a discriminator. The generator takes random noise as input and tries to produce data that resembles the real data, while the discriminator's task is to distinguish between real and generated data. The generator and discriminator are trained together in an adversarial manner, where the generator aims to fool the discriminator, and the discriminator tries to get better at distinguishing real from fake data. GANs are widely used for image synthesis, video generation, style transfer, and more. VAS are a type of autoencoder that learns to encode the input data into a lower dimensional latent space and then decode it back to generate data. The key difference between VAS and traditional autoencoders is that VAS impose a constraint on the latent space, usually forcing it to follow a specific distribution, such as a Gaussian distribution. This property enables VAS to generate new data points by sampling from the latent space. VAS have applications in image generation, text generation, and data imputation. Autoregressive models model the probability distribution of a sequence of data by decomposing it into a product of conditional probabilities. These models generate data sequentially, where each element is generated based on the previous elements in the sequence. Examples of autoregressive models include Pixel CNN and WaveNet, which are used for image and audio generation, respectively. Normalizing flow models learn to transform a simple probability distribution, such as a Gaussian distribution, into a more complex distribution that matches the data distribution. They are called flows because the transformation is invertible, and both the forward and inverse operations can be computed. Normalizing flows are used for density estimation and can be used for generating data by sampling from the learned complex distribution. Boltzmann machines are a type of energy-based generative model that model the joint probability distribution of the data. They consist of visible and hidden units and use a process called Gibbs sampling to generate new data samples. Restricted Boltzmann machines RBMs, are a simpler variant of Boltzmann machines and have been used in various generative tasks. Flow-based models directly model the data distribution by applying a series of invertible transformations to simple distributions, such as Gaussians. 
These models can efficiently sample from the data distribution and compute likelihoods. Real NVP and GLOW are examples of flow-based models. GMMNs learn to map random noise to the data space by matching the moments, mean and covariates, of the generated samples to the moments of the real data distribution. They have been used for image synthesis and data augmentation tasks. Thanks for watching the video and don't miss to like, share and subscribe to Internalize AI. See you in next video.